it's almost Easter guys. I cannot believe it. It's springtime already. It's time to start planning out Easter and refreshing my morning basket. And so today I'm going to share that with you. I'm gonna share with you our homeschool Easter plans and what's in my morning basket for spring and Easter time. Hey, my name is Adrian. I am a stay at home homeschool mom of three. I have kids ages two, six, and seven. So I'm going to share what we're going to be doing for Easter. I really want to focus on Jesus. That is the reason for Easter. That is the whole point of it. Now, while the Easter bunny is fun and we still do the Easter bunny, uh, I really just want to focus on why we celebrate this holiday with my kids. So I wanted something that was going to help me in doing that. Um, I need whole lot of Jesus and a whole lot of flexibility and simplicity when it comes to these kinds of things lately. Um, so I went with Gentle and Classical Easter and I'm so excited about this. It's beautiful. It's very flexible. It's not, um, it doesn't have a lot of moving pieces and too many crafts and hard to pull all of the things together. So we are doing this and I am just going to show you a few pages and tell you a little bit about it. So this curriculum is for ages two to eight. So my kids are two to seven. So I thought this was the perfect age range. And what this does is it gives you a book list that is your main reading and it breaks it down. And there is a what is it, two to four year old book list and then the four to eight core books. So this is your core book page and I chose not to buy these ones this year. My two year old, I, I don't think she's going to sit for a whole lot of this Bible study. So I chose to just get these books for my older children and then we'll pick this back up again next year or maybe the year after and she'll be a little older and we'll be able to sit for these books. So I felt like this was a better investment for me to go ahead and buy these books. Um, so the main book that it calls for is on that Easter morning, and you'll be reading through this book for the entire two weeks of the unit study. Now, I couldn't find this book at my library, and I couldn't get it here in time for Easter. Um, it was kind of hard to find, so I just chose to pull out something we already had. It pulled out this Read and Grow Picture Bible, and we're just going to read through the section in here on Jesus's last week. So the this book is pretty neat. My kids, my boys really love it. It's kind of comic book style. It's good, but it's not my favorite to go through every day as our main Bible source. So we're going to do this for Easter though. So we'll read one spread every day for the two weeks that we're doing this instead of reading that on Easter morning by Elena Pas Pasquale. Pa I don't know how to say that. But we're going to do this for the Bible part of it. And then we are going to, I'm really excited about these. I wanted to buy these last year. And when I saw that this curriculum used these two books as the core books, I was sold. I mean, all the other things are great too, but I already wanted these books. So um, the first one is The Garden, the Curtain, and the Cross. And we'll read through this. You break it up. Um, I think it's three days. And so we'll read through this in three days. And then we will also read God Gave Us Easter. And these books are so sweet. We have the Christmas one we just read this year and it's precious. It's beautiful and the story is so sweet. And I feel like it really helps um, them just to understand what it's talking about in just such a, a simple and sweet way. And then the other book that it calls for, for your core book, is The Donkey Who Carried a King. And again, beautiful picture book. I'm so excited for this. And this will be the core book for the second week. So we'll read through this for five days. So we, you can either read it the whole way through each day, or you can break it up. Um, just whatever's going to work for your kids and your family. But those are the core books for our Easter curriculum. And then it also comes with a bunch of printables. So you read your books every morning. It lays out um, a schedule. So it shows you the books that you need for week one, for unit one. It'll tell you your statement. So it has scripture, catechism, and poetry that you'll read every day for that week. 
And then it's got a few crafts and a nature walk if you want to do it. And I just love that this is so flexible. If we don't get to the book, then it's not a big deal. We can read it tomorrow. If we choose not to do the craft for the day, we can do it another day or we can just do it next year. It's not a big deal. And it's just sweet and simple. So I really love that. And then it shows you here. It will show you day one through five and it just walks you through all of the things that you're doing for this first week. So it goes through your two to four year old reading, your four to eight year old reading, your dailies, your core reading, your nature study, motor skills, handicraft and activities, and then you have copy work for kids that are first grade and up or if your younger kids are ready for it. So I just like that it's super simple. I can pick and choose where to put this in our day. And then it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So I will show you some of the um, printables. I printed some that are reproducible that we'll be able to use next year in the back of the book that I printed out. But the ones that I needed to do more prep work for, I just threw in this portfolio. And so it's got just folders in here and I just threw them in here so they're easy to pull out. So it comes with a banner and it's really pretty. It's two different options, but I chose the one um, with the crosses that I'll put in between the words. And then it's gonna say, he is risen. So I need to cut these out and then I'll string them up on our wall in our homeschool room. But how beautiful is that? Um, so I printed that out. It also comes with these storyboards. And I wasn't sure if my kids were gonna be into this. We, we haven't done storyboards before but they saw me printing and prepping and laminating all of these things and they knew exactly what it was for. Um, my oldest picked it up and was like, this is Jesus and he's going up into heaven. And so he was already using it for its purpose. But they're beautiful. There's this picture and there's this picture and I laminated them. And then it has several pieces. This is the one that my son picked up and he said he's going up into heaven. And so there's that, and there's also the rock that you would roll in front of the tomb and a couple of other pictures. So we can read through all of these stories and then we can use these storyboards to show what we've learned and reenact it and just, um, just have a lot more conversation with it. But beautiful, beautiful pictures. And then this was, this was just in the middle of it. I think it was to break up the sections in, um, the printable pack but I thought it was so pretty that it just it needed to be laminated and hung up somewhere so this will find a spot on our walls when we go to start this unit. It also comes with some scavenger hunts so there's one that's more church and Jesus and Bible based there is a nature one to go on a nature walk and do a scavenger hunt in your backyard and then one that's more fun like Easter bunny type things. But these are really pretty and I laminated these so that they can just share them and take a dry erase marker instead of printing one off for each of them. And then I can just reuse these the next year and not need to print them off again. Okay, and then the last um, few things that I laminated from the printable pack were these statement cards. So it has scripture, poetry, and catechism. And so I just cut these and laminated them so we can post them up. And then it's got some pretty poetry cards. And we'll just post these and we'll go through them every day. Just quick and simple. We already do um, like morning we already do morning menus. And so we'll just replace our morning menu with these statement cards and this unit study for the two weeks. And then it comes with these really beautiful lacing cards so they can do this to keep their hands busy while we're reading the stories. So that is the Gentle and Classical Easter. There were a few more printables that were just the copywork pages for the scripture or the catechism. And then there were some extra um, coloring pages that they could do that were pretty. And I printed off a couple of those for all of my kids. Just keep their hands busy while we're doing that. But I'm super excited. It's beautiful. It focuses on Jesus and it's very simple. And if we don't get to it, then it's not a big deal. We'll still have it. We can do it the next day or come back to it the next year. But I'm really excited for this. Now, I also am going to show you guys our morning basket. I love doing morning baskets lately. I like to just 
have that one spot that we can throw everything in there and we can pull from it what we want. We don't do all of this stuff every day. We will do this gentle and classical Easter for our Bible and our morning time every day. But then we'll just throw in some extra picture books or whatever we want to when we're feeling it. So let me show you what's in our Easter morning basket. Okay, this is full of some good picture books in here. Now, you might not read all of these, but we have them out as an option for them to flip through or read during our morning time. This is The Very Hungry Caterpillar, good old classic. Gotta love it. There is Count on the Easter Pups. My boys have had this for a couple of years. They went through a Paw Patrol phase, so we may or may not read this this year. My little girl likes puppy dogs, so maybe she'll like it, but we have this one. Happy Easter Mouse. My kids love this series of books and the TV series that goes with it. Uh, I just bought some more of these books this year, so I'm sure they'll be excited to see this one come out again. The Secret Garden. This one is very well loved. I think it's just so sweet. It just goes through and it names the flower and has a cute little um, saying over here. But it is very well loved. My little girl has gotten her hands on this. There was an old lady who swallowed a chick. I think these are so silly. My husband doesn't understand. He's, it doesn't make any sense. It's goofy, but the kids like it. It's, it's just funny. A very happy Easter prayer. Little Blue Truck's springtime. They love Little Blue Truck in this house, and I think we're close to collecting them all. We have a few more that we need to get maybe next year, but this is a fun one. It's the Easter Beagle with Charlie Brown. I also have the Charlie Brown Easter movie that we'll watch with this. Um, Clearly, I got this used. I don't know if I got this at like a library sale or the thrift store, but it is very well loved. But I'm happy to have it. I love Charlie Brown. We also have Caterpillar Spring Butterfly Summer. This is a neat one. It's got this big old pop-up, and it just takes you from the caterpillar all the way to the end. There's a beautiful butterfly. Pete the Cat, Big Easter Adventure. The first strawberries. Chrysanthemum. I feel like I read this as a little girl. I grabbed this off of surf books just because it sounded familiar. So whether it's true that I read it as a child or not, I think I did. So this is new to us this year. I'm curious if my kids are gonna like this one. And then the last two things that we have in here, I printed this off for free last year. It's just Spring Nature Poems. This is from A Handful of Blessings, and it's supposed to go with Exploring Nature with Children. I almost want to say I grabbed this in one of those bundle sales that you see floating around, so I'm not sure if this is available anymore. But it's sweet. It just has lots of nature poems, and nature poems are my kids' favorite poems. I was so surprised by that. I thought they'd like the goofy ones or the story ones, but really their favorite ones are nature poems. So we'll go through some of those. And then lastly, this Easter Treasures book, and it is so sweet. We started reading this last year, but we didn't finish it. So it's got things like the Easter Bunny that overslept, which is such a cute story. I'd never read that until last year. And then classics like the Velveteen Rabbit and the Selfish Giant. And then it's got some poems in here. And again, the pictures are so pretty. I'm such a sucker for beautiful picture books. And my kids saw me pull this out and they were really excited. They remembered this last year and they, they were really excited to go through it again this year. So that's all I have for books and our Bible study. But I also pulled out just a few little craft things for them to do. Um, my mom had given me a bunch of old Stampin' Up! stamps. She had so many. When I was a child, I remember her scrapbooking and going to clubs that they would scrapbook and make cards. They would make cards and trade them. I don't know if any of your moms did that or maybe you guys used to do that. If you did, let me know down below. I feel like my mom was the only one. But 
I have so many. She gave them all to me. She just didn't use them anymore. And since having kids, I've just been struggling to find a use for them. But homeschool to the rescue, we can use these stamps just for fun. Keep hands busy or make fun crafts that go with whatever we're learning about. So I grabbed some of these. Now these ones aren't the Stampin' Up! ones. I think these are just from Michael's or some craft store. But I pulled out just all the ones that have to do with Easter. There's some little chicks, bunnies, some Easter eggs. It says, somebody loves you. So maybe they can make their friends some Easter cards or we can just make some fun little artwork. And then I also have these little fun little stamps they can use. And then I also, since it's springtime, pulled out anything that had flowers on them. But these are the Stampin' Up! ones. I don't know if you can. There's just a lot of little flowers in here. I love this set. I never know what to do with it, but it's so precious. Just screams springtime. And this big set here. And then we had a bunch of stickers left over from last year, so maybe they can just make a big ol' sticker collage out of that. And I'll just throw that in a basket, and when we're reading or feeling crafty, we can pull these out. But that is it for our morning basket, some things to keep our hands busy, and what we're going to do for our Bible study to focus on Jesus for Easter time. If you guys are interested in any of the links, I will put those in my blog post. I'll link down below. I'll try to find any of the links I can for the books, and I will link the Easter unit study down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful to you or you just enjoyed looking at pretty books like I do. And if you would like to see more, please like and subscribe. Thank you.